welcome. Tonight on Save India's Coast, our thoughts are with all the people in Japan who are suffering from a powerful under suffering from the effects of a powerful tsunami. A tsunami warning has been called for the Pacific region, including the west coast of America, Canada and Alaska. The Indian government says that India is unlikely to be affected by the effects of this tsunami, but it has brought back horrific memories, or should I say nightmares, of the 2004 tsunami. Tonight we're reporting from a city where environmentalists say the people of the city, that is Mumbaikas, haven't taken seriously enough the issue of mangroves in the city because mangroves are the first national natural shield and protector against nature's fury like tsunamis and cyclones. Tonight we report on the Bandra Worli Sea Link which has been a boom to all the commuters in Mumbai but has come at a cost. A lot of mangroves have to be, had to be cut in order for this bridge to be built. I wouldn't say the best thing, but it's one of the best. It's quick, it's convenient. Less traffic. It's uh, made life much better. It's been called an engineering marvel that has changed the way Mumbaikers live. It's the poster child for modern Mumbai, a gleaming state-of-the-art eight-lane wonder that has cut down travel costs from the suburbs to what Mumbaikas call town from an exasperating 45 minutes to a gone before you know it, five minutes flat. The immediate benefits that come to mind are there's less traffic jam, so there's less idling, less fuel consumption and so less pollution. But not all Mumbaikas are in agreement. Some environmentalists say there are other impacts that are not as visible to the eye. The mouth of Mahim Bay has been reduced by about 200 meters at each end. Mm. Now the combined impact of this is that the rain water that comes down the Mithi River, and that's what happened on 26 July 2005 when we had that incredible amount of rain. Mm. The river couldn't handle it. The mouth was blocked and choked for a variety of reasons, including the ones I just mentioned, and 500 people died in Mumbai. Jo hamara worli bandra ke yaha, jo fishing field tha. जहाँ क्वालिटी फिश मिलते थे जिसके वजह से हम लोगों को उधर निर्वाह तो होता था लेकिन जो फॉरेन करेंसी मिलती थी जस्ट लाइक ए लॉफ्टर्स श्रैम्स लॉफ प्रॉन्स वगैरह ये जो ऐसे क्वालिटी फिश है इतना तक नहीं है तो प्रॉम्प्लेट्स वगैरह जो है वो उस फील्ड में मिलते थे वे अभी कम के अभी वो नष्ट होने के जगह पर गई है और इसके वजह से हम लोगों के ऊपर तो भूख मरने की आ गई है वन ऑफ मुंबई मोस्ट कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल एंड एम्बिशियस प्रोजेक्ट the ceiling took 9 years in the making at the cost of 850 crores 20 hectares of land had to be reclaimed in the process but the government says environmental assessment studies were done before the construction began the foundations of the bridge themselves are done in a manner that is the least invasive kind of a foundation uh, uh, that would be there for a bridge it's all the bridge has been done using pile foundations and uh, in every uh, part of the construction, care was taken to see that we don't cause any adverse effect, effect on the environment. Even as the controversy over the sea link rages, planners are working on its next phase, aiming to eventually connect the sea link all the way to Nariman Point, the tip of South Mumbai. In Mumbai with Manu Nair, Sarah Jacob, NDTV. And joining me now is the leading environmentalist of Mumbai, Navroz Modi. Navroz, thanks for being with us on the show tonight. As we saw that, and as we know, a lot of mangroves had to be cut down in order for the Bandrawali sea link to be brought up. Why is this important? Well, I think the Japanese experience, in fact, shows us a of how powerless we are against the forces of nature. Mm -hmm. And while the whole world tries to protect itself in anticipation of this fury, in India, we seem intent on destroying what protection we have and putting both our infrastructure and populations in the way of harm. Why do you say this? For example, we spoke with officials who designed this bridge and they said that all environmental norms and protections had been thought about when they designed the bridge. So why do you say India seems intent on doing this? See, the bridge is only one instance. Yeah. The point is, if you just look around Bombay, yes. Ministry of Environment as recently as 2007 has given permission for destroying 3,000 hectares of mangroves right across from Bombay Harbour, mm -hmm. 20 kilometres from where the new airport is to come up. 
where they made a fuss about 400 acres of, of mangrove here. There's 3,000 hectares at the mouth of the harbour. There are other instances along the coast as well where we the had rich. The oil spill last we year. had the oil spills and wetlands are being appropriated by the rich and powerful for bungalows and urban concentrations around coastal areas. But do Mumbaikas not care if this is such a serious issue? Oh, they care. The whole country cares. But which politician is listening? There's too much money to be made in destroying. Thanks so much for just sharing those views with us. Hopefully, Mumbaikas are listening. That's all we have for you on the show tonight. Join us for a half-hour special tomorrow night, a special on Gujarat. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, fastest scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.